This is how to use the blob brush in Adobe Illustrator. In Illustrator, you want to go over to your tools panel and you want to scroll down your tools. You're going to come across the brush tool. This is not the tool we're looking for, but two under that will be the blob brush tool. And we're going to click that. It looks similar to the brush tool, but you'll notice it has like a blob and a rectangle attached to it. Very simple thing to recognize. So once we click on it, we're just going to draw some shapes out on the artboard. And you'll notice that these shapes, they overlap. They're not connected in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It stacks like any other shape in Illustrator. But if we double click and we open the blob brush options and we click keep selected and merge only with selection and we take that off, and click OK. Once we draw over it, it now joins with the selected, but it still maintains the shape of the one behind. Now, if we go back into our options and we turn keep selected off, click OK. Once we do it now, all of these items become intertwined. Now, in our blob brush panel, we have fidelity and smoothness. Now, with fidelity and smoothness, the higher we go with fidelity, and our smoothness, the more rounded our shapes will be in terms of us painting. This will reduce the number of anchor points that are actually on the shape, and because of that, it uses less information in Illustrator, so it's a good thing. When you reduce it, it becomes more accurate but adds more anchor points, and the more anchor points Illustrator has, the more information it's going to process per shape. Down at the bottom of our window, you'll notice we have size, angle, and roundness. Our size panel, once we slide this slider, you'll notice it changes the size of our brush, and that'll be the default size that we use once we click OK and we head back to our artboard. The angle will change according to what we put here, and that will be the default angle. And our roundness, it pinches and expands so that we can change how round our brush is going to be. Now, on the right of those, we have options under the size, angle, and roundness panel. These allow us to change how they are affected as we're brushing. We have fixed, random, pressure, stylus wheel, tilt, bearing, and rotation. Depending upon whether or not it's random, it'll as you're moving your brush along, the size will actually change at a random interval. If it's set to fixed, it will stay whatever your middle size is and it will not change at all. It will always stay that size. If you go to pressure, stylus will tilt bearing or rotation. It will all change varying on how you're actually rotating, tilting, the amount of pressure you're putting down on your artboard or on your tablet and then you'll get different settings according to that. Now, when this isn't set to fixed, you'll notice that a third option opens up and that's variation. In the variation panel, you can change the variation between your brush sizes, angle, and roundness. So, you can decrease it so that there's less variation, or you can increase it and you'll see the sizes change in your panel so that if this was at random right now and I drew on the board, it will give me random sizes. Or if I had pressure using my tablet, then depending upon how much pressure I apply, the line will become thicker or less thick, really, really thin, depending upon how hard I'm going to press down. So right now we're gonna put it at random, click OK. We're gonna leave it like this. And that is how you use the blob brush in Adobe Illustrator.